that, <laughs> no, no. I used um, to be. Yeah, Charlie Mariano and Everett Weber. Um, how was the concert for you tonight? Did oh, you like it? It was nice. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the question for the audience. You should ask the, the audience. Well, they obviously liked it. liked it very much. Yeah, I think so, though. Uh, I'm sure they went away very happy. Except that you didn't, too. you didn't do that in Kurdish after, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was long enough mm. anyhow. Oh yeah. 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 Do you have any special ideas when you go on stage? How you want it to work out? Do you have any plans? Uh, any special mood you want to create among the audience? Anything? Um. Well, there is a general idea of playing of uh, playing our music, but uh, generally when we go on stage, we only know. A few tunes, what we want to do, and we connect them however we feel. Mm. And today it was totally different, for example, to the last concerts we played. Although we played the same tunes, mm. for example, you know, it's in every time they're different. In, in what way does it differ? Well, I mean, this this time, like we we uh, we went uh, out in between the uh, like we just have some. Some sketches mm -hmm. that we that we follow and play together, and then and then in between those things, we uh, just you know Improvise. wherever the music takes us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, if there's suddenly a strange chord by the piano, we have mm -hmm. to follow. You know? Yeah, and this is this makes the music interesting, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. The name colors, uh, if you want to read a lot of symbolism into it, suppose you can. There's a lot of colors, different colors in your music. Yeah, there is, but uh, I mean. I have chosen the, ti the, the the name of the group because of my first album, it was also kind of, uh, called with the name Colors. Mm -hmm. And this was the obvious reason, you know, yeah. why I, I, I took the name Colors. But it turned out that it's it's very good for our group, yeah. because it we like a lot of Colors. It is a sort of different sound picture in my ears. Uh, you have an obvious Indian influence in, for instance, some of your music, some of the instruments yeah. you pick. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I think you should explain a little about your, your bass. It's not an oh. unusual sight. I explained this already, uh, I don't know, <laughs> one million. This. So this is the one million and one. All right. First. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, uh, I was tired too to carry the big bass mm. and, and to ask very friendly the cabin attendants, you know, and mm. getting, getting funny looks by them, what's that? So. This is my hand luggage? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, um, it's very expensive also to, to take the big bass and the double bass in the cabin because mm. you have to, to pay an extra ticket. Mm. <laughs> so this was the main oh. idea. I, I used anyhow on my double bass at that time an electric pickup system. So I thought there's no use to carry the big bass, the big body. It doesn't make any sense if, mm. I, if I play with the body or not. So I found a kind of this bass in an antique shop. And oh. I said, oh, well, yeah? yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, no, I didn't know I that. said it 1,000 yeah. times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but with, I, mean, I never was around. <laughs> 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 yeah. But with a fifth string. Not well, no, no, this, this, I have, I have this said before. I have it also on my double bass and all my instruments. I have oh, five I strings. I. I wanted to open up the normal bass roll, the bass part, mm -hmm. and I found out the, the, the fifth string is very good to mm -hmm. play melody-like things, and so I have the possibility to play very low the bass part and mm -hmm. also the lead, a bit lead part. Uh, also, it has a special sound, by the way. I mean, yeah, I'm very happy about yeah. the sound. Yeah. It really gives the group a sort of different color. <laughs> oh, it's a very different sound. Yeah. You, you can tell. Eberhardt sound right away. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's like mm. no other bass sound. Okay, can I yeah. Yeah. The Nagasvaram, tell us about yeah. that, Charlie. The Nagasvaram is uh, uh, a double reed instrument from, from South India. Mm. Uh, used uh, the same as the Shanai from North India. Like it's used in the temples and uh, uh, weddings and things like that. Is it sort of a sacred instrument in India? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but it's also. Uh, like my my girlfriend told me that it that, that like it's also used uh, uh, by the uh, the uh, the honey the honey truck uh, people. Mm. You know what that is? Okay. <laughs> we won't go into this. <laughs> <laughs> right. but, but so obviously it's like it's used also by you know the regular folks. 
But what I'd like to go into is um, the fact that some Indian influence, you are American, a red is of course German, it all makes up to jazz. Uh, does this mean that uh, jazz is developing in Europe as well as in the United States these days? I mean, oh, the, mm, the, the development really hard, of the music. It's really hard to explain. I mean, jazz came from the States, of course. Mm. Uh, and in my opinion, the Europeans tried to copy a long, a long time the Americans. Um, but I think in the moment, or in the last few years, the Europeans developed their own style. I mean, based on the American jazz, definitely. But we have our own influences. And I, for example, I tried to to bring in also the uh, a kind of classical way. Not I don't play the classical phrases, but for example, on my records, I, I try to to make a mixture of mm. European influences and American influences, and so far it turned out well. Mm. It has. You've been working in Europe for the last few years, haven't you? Yeah, I've been lived here in Europe, off and on now about five years. Why? What brought you here to Europe? Well, I came here to do to do one gig, uh, the Holland Festival, and uh, and uh, then I started working, so I stayed here. Yeah. <laughs> do you plan to stay here permanently, or will you be going? Back? No, I don't. No, I'm going back to the States. Uh, we're doing a tour. Yeah. Colors is doing a tour yeah. in uh, in October, October yeah. for about a month or so, yeah. and then I'll, I'll stay there for a while until uh, we have something else to do here. Mm. But I, I want to see what New York is. <laughs> into. I haven't lived there for many years, so it kind of frightens me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it should work out well. Now, is that a personal question? What makes you play chess? Why do you go and play it? Oop. Why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I like why, it. Why? Oh, Maybe because I was very bad in school. <laughs> Do you have to be bad in school to be a good chess player? No, I wouldn't. Be bad in no, 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 no. If, if if I would have been good in school, I would be now a teacher. You see, and I wouldn't be a musician because this was my prepared uh, future. That tells Thinkings of my father, for example. He thought I would be a good teacher. Oh yeah, is your father sure. a teacher? Uh, yeah. no, he's a music teacher. But oh yeah. I wanted to be a normal teacher, school yeah. teacher. Oh yeah. But that says a lot about how jazz music is regarded. Why? I mean, um, if you're good in school, then you you have to be a doctor or dentist or something, at least mm. not play chess. Mm. It's got something with prestige and so on, hasn't it? Uh, Is it regarded as well, not so far? No, I don't think thinking? it always goes like that. It may well, have been in yeah. his case like that. Mm. I mean, there are a lot of things uh, which would have changed my life mm. if, if they wouldn't have happened. You know? <laughs> no, that's... It's incredible. If I if I start to think about, it, I get crazy. You know? mm, yeah. <laughs> maybe I would I would no I wouldn't stand here because I wouldn't play. But uh, I would maybe I would wear a tie. Nobody knows. You know. You might even <laughs> wear a tie and play. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't fit together. <laughs> it doesn't fit together. Um, people are talking about the current trends in jazz music. For instance, uh, the the acoustic trend against the electric trend and mm. the disco take trend. And mm. uh, what's your opinion on this? For instance, the electric versus the acoustic trend. Joy? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I I like them both. You know, I I've I I mean, I have been a musician for a long, long time, and so. There wasn't any electricity around for a long time, you know. <laughs> You're not that old, are you? <laughs> well, no. But I'm, I, I don't mean. I play, I play by gaslight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pre-Edison jazz school, is it? No, but you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm talking about yeah, okay, microphones and so on like that. But I mean, there wasn't any. Uh, but but I don't think it matters that much. The acoustic music is beautiful too. Sure, I, I, I would say we live in the 20th century, mm -hmm. so. Both instruments are there, I mean, and and when you say there are trends, this is a kind of fashion, I would say. Also, it it swings some. Sometimes it's more more electric, and it has been more electric. Now it goes a little bit back to the acoustic. Mm. Well, this is quite normal, but mm. I would say so. Like Charlie, it's yeah, both I, instruments. I, 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 don't, I don't. I'm not a purist about it like some no. people are. I mean, yeah. some people are very strong about it. They yeah. they think that acoustic music is the they only. They start to music hate the other like musicians. You don't want to participate in that war between the trends. No, no. 
Can we for the atomic jazz in the 21st century? <laughs> <laughs> atomic jazz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you both. Good. Thank you. <laughs>